what's up, man? A lot of people want to know, how do I get in this program anyway, KC? I'm already Medicaid. All I need to be in this LTSS program so I can get me a, a caregiver. Absolutely. Stick around to the very end. I'm going to make sure that you know all the answers that you need to know, all right? So look, if you don't know who I am by now, my name is Kion Church. I'm your in-home health care guy. You know, what I do is I help everybody trying to get some in-home health care services and get their family members paid. That's what we do. You know what I mean? Now, who do I like to help the most? I love helping financially challenged family members who want to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program. And that particular program is called LTSS, which is actually why we're here today. I'm trying to shine a light on this thing, man. It's like, I don't know, Facebook came up with a whole bunch of new uh, things when you go on live and it looks a little different. But it's all good. We here, I'm here, you here. So look, if you're here with me live, hashtag live. If you're here with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. You know, if you happen to be watching this on another uh, form of media, like, subscribe, share, do what you got to do. We're trying to get this good message out here. Now look, a lot of people want to know, I'm in Medicaid. What do I have to say to get the people to accept me in the LTSS? Now, if you've been with me uh, previous videos, you already know. If you want to get a paid caregiver, or if you want to turn your son, your family member, your relative into the paid caregiver, they ask me, did I miss the live? No, you ain't missed the live. We on it right now. So look, if you're here with me now, hashtag live. If you're here with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. If you're trying to get at me while we're on a live, text me, 302-689-3240. Ask me any question you want while we're on the air, man. Everything is acceptable right now. So listen. Uh, the biggest question is, how do I get into LTSS? All right. The hard part has already been taken over and you don't even know about it. You know what I mean? Right now, you Cocoa Beach. What do you got to do to get in? All you got to do is ask. Now, I'm going to give you the number up front and then I'm going to tell you when you call this number, this is what you say. All right. So look, the number, if you Delaware, if you Medicaid, if you Newcastle County, Kent County, I don't know about Sussex County. I don't know how they do it down there. But if you up here and you need the number to central intake, that's the people who's going to get you into the program, 1-866-940-8963. 866-940-8963. Now, you might say, look, KC, I got the number. What do I say when I get somebody on the phone? Now, listen, this is what you really need to know. If you don't have your pens out right now, what's going on, D? How you doing today, baby? If you don't have your pens out right now, get them out because this is very important. Now, look, if you're with me here in the live, hashtag live. If you're here with me in the rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. Now, listen, I may need you to share this thing, too, because you got some family members that's in Medicaid, but they, they don't have no aid and they need somebody. You know what I mean? So the only way you can guarantee to get somebody to come through and see you is if you're paying them. You know what I mean? So we want to get our aids paid. Now, what do you do? You call there and you say, look, my needs have changed. It's cool. It's cool. They already know. They've been waiting on you. You know what I mean? See, in life, as we go on, we're going to need more and more help. So they already created this good program for you. And really what they're doing is they're waiting on you right now to call and say, yo, let me in. You know what I mean? It's simple as that. Really simple as that. You're going to call there. They're going to... Uh, they're going to put you through a, a little a little small uh, process, you know what I mean? A couple little things they're going to want from you. They're going to want your medical eligibility. Now, when you get them on the phone, you tell them, say, look, man, my needs have changed. Listen, write this down. This is the number one thing I want you to say. My needs have changed. I got an ele elevated level of care. My needs have changed. I need more. You know what I mean? If you need a caregiver, that's that's because your needs have changed and you need more. You need more help around the house. You may need more help doing different things. Whatever it is, your needs have changed. So you got to let them know, first and foremost, my needs have changed. So what they're going to do is they're going to, they're already well familiar with who your doctor is. Because let's not forget, you already in Medicaid. So what they're going to do is they're going to write your doctor. They're going, you know, they got this uh, little tele thing that they do, telemed, health. I don't know. It's, 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 it's real complicated, real simple, whatever you want to do. But they're going to send a message over there to your doctor. They're going to say, hey, doc, does church qualify? Hey cousin, how you doing today? They're gonna say, hey, does a uh, church qualify for uh for uh for these elevated services? We we thinking about uh you know letting them into this LTSS program. They're gonna say, listen, doctor gonna say, absolutely. We 100 percent feel that this would better be able to help the person, you know what I mean? Yada yada yada, whatever. Small conversation you're gonna have with the doctor. 
Awesome. Number two thing they're going to do is they're going to check your financial status. They're going to check out and see if you're financially eligible. Now, don't get scared because unless you hit the Powerball or something, you already qualified. They already qualified you to get in Medicaid. So, you know, unless you literally, you know, hit the Powerball, hit the number, or somebody left you something, you're still eligible. So that's a breeze. You know what I'm saying? Now, this one right here, this is where I'm going to need you. If you didn't have your pen out early, this is where I'm going to need you to get your pen out at. All right? So look, if you're feeling this, hashtag KC, I'm feeling this. Hashtag, look, I still need more help. Whatever it is you need, I'm here for you, baby. All right. So the third part, the third thing, which I really think is the most important thing because part one and part two are already done. You know what I mean? Part three is the most important thing, and this is where it comes to you. This is where you're going to get a shot to tell your own story. You know what I mean? You want to sing your song. You want to live your life. You want to tell these people, I need some help. Now's your chance. The third part, what they're going to do, they're going to interview you. Now, COVID times is ending. You know what I mean? I don't really know how they're going to do it, whether they're going to call you in or they're going to do it over the phone. But they already got all your info, so all they need to do to solidify the deal is to talk to you. Now, when you talk to them, you're going to say, look, man. I need a caregiver. You know what I mean? My needs have changed. My my uh, my care is elevated. You know, they texting me, y'all. How you doing? Happy Friday. All right. Happy Friday. Listen, if you on with me on a live and you scared to say something in the comment, 302-689-3240. Look, young lady, how you doing? Happy Friday. And I'm glad you text me. Look, if you got a happy Friday for the group, man, drop it straight in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Happy Friday to everybody watching this. And listen, I want the same thing for my brothers I do for myself. So I'm going to make sure that you get in this program and you get this paycheck. You feel me? So they're going to call you. They're going to talk to you. You're going to say, look, my need, my, eleva my, my needs have elevated. My level of care has elevated and I need somebody. They're going to say, okay, cool. They already got your, uh, your medical eligibility. They already got your financial status. They just got you on the phone for an interview. Boom. It's sweet. Now you're straight. Now all you got to do is call me. Call me, say, yo, KC, I just had my interview. They're going to put me into this LTSS. What I need you to do now is hire my loved one now. So when I get into the program, it won't be no hiccup in, in, in my loved one's check. You know what I mean? Because that's what we do. We'll hire your family member now, right now, like right now, March 18th, 2022. And then April 1st, when they put you into the program, Man, he gonna have a he gonna have a paycheck that next week. You know what I mean? Cause soon as soon as they get you in, sooner you can get paid. You know what I'm saying? Now, it ain't hard. It ain't hard, man. It, it's it's basic math. All you gotta do is make a couple phone calls, talk to a couple people. KC gonna handle everything else. You know what I mean? Look, once again, if you need that number, the Medicaid Central Intake. That's where you are gonna put your application in for this LTSS. The number is one eight six six nine four zero eight nine six three. Now look. If you're a direct care worker and you're looking for a better opportunity, better way of life, come to Reliable Aid. You know, now why I say that? Because we got a lot of good opportunities over here going on, man. You know, now this opportunity ain't for everybody. It's only for big hearted caregivers that love people. You know, people ask me all the time, what do I got to do to be a caregiver? All you have to do is love people, man, and be able to, you know, you know, get along with people. If, if you can get up in the morning, tie your shoes, brush your teeth, wash your face, take a shower, put your clothes on, go out for the day, you qualify. Because that's what we do. We do activities of daily living. Now, what an activity of daily living is, that's in-home health care, non-medical in-home health care. That's everything that you already doing anyway. Now, if you feel like, look, man, my talents is... uh. You know, not best being seen and you need, you know, you need to be able to take care of somebody. Call me 302-689-3240. We'd love to have you, man. 302-689-3240. Now, just to keep it real with you, we got a lot of people in position. See, people think being a caregiver is like a funky job. Like, I don't want to do that. But I'm going to let you know, as long as people have been going out of the house to make a dollar, it's always been somebody who stayed in the back and took care of the people who couldn't leave. That's what's called the caregiver. Now, the caregiver is probably the most respected job, you know, of all time. And if you don't know that, you need to check it out for yourself. You know what I mean? So if you're looking for a new position, if you're looking for something in your life, you're looking for some people that could best benefit from you and, you know, your good personality and your good well-being, call me. 302-689-3240. Other than that, if you're looking for some real estate, man, that's on a whole nother channel. But look, I love you. 